Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Modern Skyblock 3. Last episode, we sorted out some of our RF issues. Today, I think we're going to be attacking the mob farm. The mob farm. So, I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a good day because this is it's been in the way of us making some improvements to around the base. So, obviously, I want to make some more of these chunk things around this side. And uh, this one here in the middle, so basically opposite our actual additions immersive engineering one, I think we'll have this. But uh, we need to get rid of all of this. And I've, you can see it's empty right now because I've put a mega torch up here just to stop everything spawning so we can get rid of it. So that's my first task is to get rid of all of this. Uh, and then obviously we're going to have to, we're going to have to move all of these drawers. Uh, to somewhere. Now I don't know exactly where I'm going to put these yet. What I was thinking sort of is that we might, you, you can see we have the four posts here, uh, there's this one so that will be going up and there'll be another one there as well and I was thinking maybe to have like corners like in, so each corner would have some um, some drawers so like corner corner like that uh, and have enough space in the middle, like here, so that we can walk across if needs be. Um, that was my that was my idea. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. Obviously, we'll have to move some of this stuff, which is fine. We can totally do that. Uh, I'm totally down for moving all of this stuff. And what I probably am going to do is make another floor, maybe, maybe up here with some of that stuff. I was going to do it down here, but obviously we have other stuff that we are hiding down here right now. Uh, so that ain't gonna work. Um, so I think we can go maybe and go up to this level and start a new floor for things that are a bit more useful, like all the old sky resources stuff, things of that nature. So yeah, first task is to get rid of this mob farm. I have been busy, so I've made some thickened glass. I'm just making some dark glass as well. Uh, I'll be making a bit more of that, and that completes a quest. And dark glass, basically, if we look at it here. Dark glass is glass that stops light from going through it, which is perfect for a mob farm. So I've built this over here. Now look at this. Look at this. The base is looking cool now. I've built the extra two platform, the chunk platform bits. Uh, and I've put mana glass here everywhere, like so. And we have a ranged collector, which is from actually additions. So this will basically pick up anything that's in front of it in around a range of about six blocks so this is where we'll have everything being killed um so it should it should it should do it quite nicely so this is what i'm planning to do like something like this um i think let's just do that let's have a look so the dirt will be here so this will go up one two like that that will be yeah, that will be as far as it goes. So then we'll have, I don't know how much, how big we need it. One, two, three, four, five, six. What are, What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So what was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll... We'll finish this off here as well. Um, so the plan, the plan is, it'd be nice to get some uh, some shut eye though, is to do a bit of, oh, hey, do some of this. And that's why I've got the cobble up there because, um, well, we, we sort of need to keep this, um, we need to keep it in check. And you can see I've got a fair amount of vector plates. Now, alas, I can't upgrade these yet. Um, because dark sugar, sugar and d like dark sh oh mate, uh, what's dwindle cream? That I can't do because I don't have wither dust. And dark sugar is yet yeah, more wither dust, so I I can't do that yet. I can't upgrade to the next um, the next level. But what I was planning, what I was hoping is that if I put this here like this, that shouldn't be able to spawn anything right now with this um, above it. That's that was the plan, uh, and then we can. Whilst we are here, we can just put the vector plates on like that, and I'll, I'll basically go around and and do that. Put put a um, a roof on this, just so that we can 
I can basically do that. And everything will come to hit, come to this point, die, and then be collected uh, by our range collector. And it will go into this ender link chest and back over here and then in. And I'm probably going to have to set up another basic draw that picks up all the junk that I'm not filtering in one of these right now. And that's just because I don't want to move all of this right now. I just want to get this up and running. So this looks like it's definitely going to work. An 8x8 should be okay. Um, this should be a lot more effective than our huge mop farm that we had because it spawns in fairly aggressively. That's that's its thing. It does it aggressively. So that's what I'm going to be doing, spending my time. Um, the dark glass is actually going to take quite a while because let me show you the recipe. And I really, I've been meaning to set up a uh, a glass and sand um, like automation um, as as to go along with my cobble and stone because uh, yeah, you need a lot. You need a lot of. Um, of both of these and I've got my crusher over here now which is grand just uh, makes that a little bit nicer but if we take that and we take that there we go uh, and basically you you just kind of do a bit of this do a bit of that and that gives you sandy glass and then we have to we have to smelt that into thickened glass and then from there we can use any kind of black dye and I'm using floral powder from uh, Britannia because that's easily easily made uh, and yeah we get we get ourselves some more um, some more dark glass that is how it's going you can see it takes two and just one bit to make two dark glass so it's uh, it's a fairly slow process but um I think it's gonna be worth it It'll, it should be worth it is this is this correct I've got one two three four five six seven eight Wait, that doesn't look right. How is that eight? Three, three. Oh, yeah, okay. Three, three, and two. That is correct. I can't count anymore. So, like that. So, we'll go up two. And then I don't know if we... I don't know. I don't know if we want more... More glass on top, perhaps? I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't quite decided. You can see this is slightly off center but that's because i wanted a little bit of space here just for this to happen um but i think it should be i think it should be fine hopefully this will work i don't know i've never done this design um i'm just sort of making it up so we shall see i have most of the dark glass placed now you can see i've got all the vector plates and you can see i think one spider has spawned so far which was interesting but um basically it it went to its death immediately so it's all working Ooh. Oh, look at that. <gasps> guardians? How are Guardians spawning? Oh, that is interesting. Now then, we don't have anything set up for that. So, I'm guessing... Will that have just gone straight into there? That is a shame. That might be worth... That might be worth um, putting something... Putting an extra draw there. I had no idea that we'd get Guardians. What an oddity. Um... So I just need to finish this off here and what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that we can, if we do this like so, uh, we can basically just do that quickly and then do that. And it seems we've just got three bits of, uh, of cobble here. So let's just get rid of that quickly. There we go. Um, oh no. And there's one here now. There it is. Uh, there is still that there. Does that does that block it? I didn't think that a mega torch would block this, <laughs> but nothing is happening. Unless is ah is it because of this here? Um, oh no. Okay, something's there. So interesting, interesting. I feel that is there a bit of glass behind there? I can't tell. Let's let's just see. Okay, there is. There totally is. So why is this not properly working? Is it because of this? Is this an issue? This is the slowest way to find this out. I I it must do. Mega torches must have an an effect on that then which i didn't realize that is a little bit irritating there we go 
So that's, yeah, that's definitely, that is definitely helping a little bit. Now we've got another Mega Torch right there. So I, I wonder if that's also going to affect it. And I wonder if it would be good to put one of these in the nether as well to get with us skeletons. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe that we are getting, can I, what a, what an oddity that we are getting guardians. Is it because it's an, no, because it's an ocean, I imagine. But how odd, how odd, right, let's go. And oh hey hoo ha! Let's just go and uh, and clear this as well, even though that's quite irritating. There we go. And let's see if that makes any difference. I feel like this should be a lot more potent than it is being, and I don't really understand why it's been so slow. Usually, cursed earth is just non-stop. And I don't really understand why it's been why it's been slow. I'm I'm not I'm not certain. It's got too high gaps, so it should be okay to spawn. <laughs> Is that a chicken? Oh, it looks a few more spawned. Then was that just a random chicken that spawned? It looked like it. That is the weirdest thing. I can't believe guardians are spawned. Ah. I missed it. I missed it. I mean, we can easily make some uh, prismarine, but maybe not the crystals. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting confuddled. Crystal. Let's have a look. I think ah, I think we could actually. Yeah, you can combust it. Oh, that, so that's not too bad. And prismarine, obviously, we can uh, we can do it in that. Okay, so that's so those are doable. So we could easily get some. I'm just a bit. I'm a bit worried. Maybe I need. Maybe there's a little bit of light coming through here, through the sides. That might be it. Let's go and let's get a little bit more of this. There we go. 21 more. And let's um let's do up some of these sides and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. If it does, then that's fine. I don't I don't mind adding, you know. Adding some more, but I mean, it doesn't look like that's that's changed anything. And clearly, if I mean, I'm, I'm guessing, is it light? Let's have a look. That's weird. Um, oh yeah, definitely. You can you see? You can just about see like the, there's a little bit of red poking through. So. It's definitely working. I just don't understand why it's not been that quick. <laughs> I don't understand. I totally don't understand why this isn't working faster. Update on the progress. I've now, and it sort of helped a bit, I've, I've put another row underneath here and there's a layer like just inside so you can see this this bit here is glass and just underneath it is as well because I thought maybe maybe that is letting light through so I did that um I added another layer underneath but it's still I don't know it's still really slow and also if you can see you can just about see you see the red dots there so you got f like four red dots which is you know the light level here which means spawning but then it gets to here and it's no longer red so i just i don't understand i don't i don't know that could just be a, a glitch a rendering glitch or something but i don't understand why this is going very slow i've never i've never had this with a cursed spawner usually actually when this happens with a cursed earth spawner it means there's light in there somewhere but at this point i just i don't know where it is because there's no it is fully immersed in dark glass now um, which doesn't let light through. Or at least that's, you know, what I thought. Um, yeah, dark ineffable glass, but I don't I don't need that. I don't, I literally do not know. Um, I, yeah, this is, this is odd. Let's just have a look, just again, just in case. Quest lines, extra utilities, dark glass. Dark glass is glass that stops light from going through it. So why... Why... Why isn't this why isn't this going crazy? I I honestly don't understand it. Um maybe I should wait until nighttime and see if 
it picks up because if it does if it does that means there's definitely light getting in it okay minecraft science time well this is just the weirdest thing because it and look it's middle of night so it should be completely dark now regardless of you know any light getting in because it is it is just dark there's no torches that near here so i don't know what's happening i don't know what's happening and i you know i had a thought that you know these might be doing something but uh, it shouldn't because this doesn't actually oh does it i don't i didn't think it did i didn't think this actually did anything towards light level because yeah there you go look at that and that's still that's still lit so i don't know what is happening with this i've used recently i've used cursed earth in two series and i've not had any issues whatsoever with it so i don't <laughs> really i have no idea what is happening right now and i can't find anything out about it so i don't know i don't know maybe someone can help me because i i just don't get what is causing this to go so slowly it looks like there's light going in but even even in perfect darkness now it's still not working i do not know i don't know what is happening music to my ears mobs dying repeatedly and frequently look at that it is now working i should have figured this out sooner um, but what it was, if we come under here, is those four blocks there, the um, spikes. So I put, you can see there's actually a bit of mana glass under here as well, which is the same Y level as, you know, just the floor here and this. And what it apparently was, even though I've got dark glass all underneath here, it just didn't, didn't, make any difference didn't make any difference so I just put four under there and then all of a sudden it just started properly working look at that oh it's lovely so this should be pretty much as good as our other a huge mob farm that we had just because it's it's just constant it's constant and mobs get to the spikes quicker as well so it's just it's completely yeah, it's, it's great. This this should work. And I've what I've done is, for now at least, I've added these here as well. Just in case we get, you know, a few. Clearly we have already got a few prismarine shards. Because why not? Why not? We might as well add these. So this is totally working now. Which is, um, well, which is great, actually. Totally great. And uh, a lot easier than, you know. Well, it should have been a lot easier than it was. If not for those spikes and i spent way too much time on this today uh, and it should have been working and it should be really simple i was going to do a few more things in this episode but alas time will not permit me the cursor farm is going to have to be it so thank you for watching thank you for bearing with me hope you enjoyed it nonetheless we've got we've got a better farm now and uh, obviously the base is looking better like the base is definitely looking better now so that's a that's a good thing next episode we'll continue doing some more stuff around here i think and just making all of this a little bit better we might set up this platform up here it's a shame that i don't have the elevator blocks yet that would be great but anyway thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it, a like or comment is very much appreciated and of course make sure to subscribe keep up to date with the channel that would be grand as well that's me i've been hector this has been modern skyblock 3 and i will see you in the next one bye bye